This is the graph paper version of the checkerboard multiplication. So we'll be creating a graphic representation of this problem. The equation we'll be working with is 3,432 taken 43 times. And when I did this work with the checkerboard, I laid out the multiplicand on the checkerboard. This time I'll be drawing the multiplicand on graph paper, starting with the units place. So I'm going to mark off two spaces, and this, these two spaces represent two for the units place. The tens place is three. One, two, three. I'm drawing a dot to show me where the tens place lies on this bottom line. Four more spaces for the hundreds place. One, two, three, four. And then with my green pencil, I'll mark three more spaces. One, two, three, for the thousands place. And I could draw a line here. Three thousands. 400, 3 tens, 2 units. So this represents the multiplicand. 3,432 is the multiplicand. The multiplier is 43, and I'll draw that line vertically on graph paper with the units place first. Three is the units place of the multiplier, so one, two, three marks the units of the multiplier. One, two, three, four marks the tens place of the multiplier. And I can draw these lines as well. Here's three for the units place of the multiplier. Here's four for the four tens. So the multiplier is 43. So when we start this multiplication, I can do this in my head. Two taken three times is six. What's interesting is that on this warp paper, we can see that value, six, and its units times units, six units. Now I'm multiplying three tens times three units. Three taken three times is nine. And here I can see nine squares. And the value is 10, so I've colored this section of the graph paper blue. Four hundreds taken three times. Four taken three times is 12. 12 hundreds, and I could actually count 12 squares in this section of the graph paper. And I'm coloring it red because it represents 12 hundreds. Three thousands taken three times. Again, three taken three times equals nine. Nine represents thousands, units of thousands. So I'm coloring this section of the graph paper green. So I've finished with the first part of the multiplier, which is three. Now I'm multiplying everything by tens. And what I want to pay attention to is what's the hierarchical value of this product? 
So two taken four times, units taken tens times is eight, and the hierarchical value is tens. So here's a rectangle that represents eight as the product, and the hierarchical value is tens. What should go here hierarchically? It's greater than tens, so we know it needs to be hundreds. Three taken four times equals 12, and I'm coloring these 12 boxes in the hierarchical color of hundreds, 12 hundreds. What should go here? It's greater than, hundred, than hundreds. Hundreds times tens gives us thousands. Four taken four times gives us 16 units of thousands. And this hierarchical value is going to be the next one greater than thousands. So it will be ten thousands, which are blue. Three taken four times equals twelve. Twelve ten thousands. I'm going to go back and write these products uh, to show their hierarchical value. I've done it with color, but now I'll do it um, symbolically as well. So two taken three times equals six units. That's perfect the way it is, but I can write two taken three times to remind me of how I got six units as the product. This represents 30, three tens taken three times. And the nine is actually nine tens or 90. So I can show that by adding a zero to the nine I had recorded. This four is actually 400 and this multiplication is 400 taken three times. So the 12 stands for 12 hundreds, which is what I can record when I add two zeros to the number 12. This area represents 3,000 taken three times. And the nine stands for nine thousands. So now I have the actual value of each of these parts of that product. On the second row, everything is multiplied by four tens. So we have two units taken four tens or 40 times. And the eight stands for eight tens or 80. 12 hundred, 12 hundreds, I can see that it's red. How did I get 12 hundreds as a product? Three tens or 30 taken four tens or 40 times. 30 taken 40 times equals 12 hundreds. 400 taken 40 times equals 16 thousands. Three zeros completes that representation. Three thousands taken 40 times equals 12 10 thousands, which I'm going to have to squeeze in. 
So now I'm going to take all of these parts of this product and record them so that I can find my final answer, starting with six units, nine tens or 90, 12 hundreds, nine thousands, And now I'll record this row of calculations, 8 tens or 80, 12 hundreds, 16 thousands, 12 ten thousands. So the 2 is in the ten thousands place. Now I'll be adding these columns vertically to see what my final product is. Six units, nine plus eight equals 17, seven tens, carrying one, one, I can record it, Plus two is three, plus two is five hundreds. One plus nine is ten, plus one is eleven, plus six is seventeen. Seventeen is what is recorded in the thousands place. Seven is recorded, one gets carried over to ten thousands. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4, 4 ten thousands, and the next place is 100 thousands, and there's only a 1. One hundred forty-seven thousand five hundred seventy-six. So the value of these multiplications is this final product 147,576.